here I'm in copy structure and content. I already did my connection where I connected to my source site collection. This is a on-prem 2016 site collection and I connect it to my admin center to the destination. What I can do is you can go here under show properties for the source. It's going to give you the information about the site if you want to make sure that you're in the right location. And I know here that we have a site collection that is team site. If you go under mappings here, you'll have the option to go under site template. This is going to offer you the possibility to change how ShareGate will behave depending on what type of site that we're moving from the source to the destination. For instance, I know here that my source site is a team site and here I decided to actually match it. You can see that it's matched to team site classic experience, meaning the site template of the same name. You have the option here to decide which site template you want to apply. For instance, if you use this one, the one just called team site, you you can see that the template name is group pound zero. This will actually transform your site collection instead of being just a classic team site to be a Microsoft 365 group. That's a modern site with no Microsoft 365 group attached. Um, you also have the possibility to change them to a communication site. These other templates are all the templates that are possibly available for your destination. Some of them are not available anymore. For instance, uh, publishing might be a little bit tricky depending on the version of SharePoint you're connecting to. Second thing I really wanted to, to browse over is that we're getting a lot of people that really want to leverage Teams themselves. The way that Teams work is that the Teams itself creates a Microsoft 365 group. The Microsoft Microsoft 365 group creates a site collection. In that site collection, there's a library called documents and every single channel has a folder in there. So if you have like 20 channels and you're moving your data from your 20 channels into that, that Teams, it's all going to the same library. If you're moving a lot of files in there, there is a limit of 50,000 documents with broken inheritance in SharePoint Online for any library. And the last big subject I really wanted to cover is I strongly suggest to have ShareGate management already activated prior to the migration process, because this is going to give you the possibility to have a really good visibility on how many groups are created. Like the, is your data there? Is your people in there? Um, are you, um, how many channels do you have? And make sure that the data that you're going to be moving from, let's say file share, if you're going from file share to teams, for instance, um, that you're, um, the people that are the owners of those uh, teams actually are responsible for the data as well. Being able to just give your owners the responsibility to consider data to be obsolete or not makes your job a lot easier and also skims down on the data that you have on your tenant. Because if your users say, yeah, we don't use this anymore, you could be cutting away like multiple gigs of data within your destination after the migration is completed.